Hey, thanks for joining me today. This is Pastor Lafayette. We're in Psalm 119. <clears throat> we are in verse 9. It's kind of easy. It kind of breaks it up for me. Isn't the Lord good? <clears throat> Let me say this. You know what? That, that just, it just crossed my mind. Uh, I was tempted to say, isn't the Lord good? He broke that up just for me. Just so that I could break it up and <laughs> just so that I could have eight verses each day to talk about. And we know that's a joke and we know that's funny and we think of that as kind of ludicrous if someone believed it. But listen to me. Listen clearly. If you read something in God's Word and it comes alive, it's just for you. He did that just for you. It's actually time we start personalizing what God does and realize that he is our, our intimate provision, protector, shield, source, portion. I could go on. <clears throat> when he does something, he does it for you. He doesn't need anything. He does things so that we could be blessed by them. <laughs> so if you read something or you think, well, look, that parking space is open. The Lord opened that thing up for just for me. Nothing wrong in just flat out saying, thank you, Lord, for doing that for me. You should be expecting God to do things for you. Why? Because he loves you. Every good thing, praise him for it preaching and I haven't started reading yet. It's amazing. Verse 9. <clears throat> How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. With my whole heart I've sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Your word I've hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I have declared all the judgments of your mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of your testimonies as much as in all riches. <clears throat> I will meditate on your precepts and contemplate your ways. I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. I wish that we would make that declaration, that declarative statement that I will not forget your word. Because too often, that's exactly what we do. Trouble arises, something happens, dark clouds come, the winds start blowing, and we forget that we have a Father, and He cares immensely for us. I didn't say uh, everything's going to get rosy all of a sudden, and the bright sunshine's going to come out. But no matter what happens, He's with you. You're not alone in anything. If you're a believer, you're not alone in anything. You're never alone. You're never forsaken. You're never abandoned. So come what may, what can you say? He's going to be there. Verse 9, I love it. I mean, he's asking these questions. Uh, how can you cleanse? How can you cleanse a way taking heed according to the word? <clears throat> then he says, verse eleven, powerful. Your word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. I want to encourage you, and, I, and you know, I believe that. Um, I believe in memorization of the word. Um, I, I probably don't do as much as I should, but I believe in memorization of the word. But it's not necessarily the word you've memorized that's going to do you the most benefit. It's the word that has been revealed to you. When you read something and it clicks and you realize, wow. And revelation floods your heart. You know, those are the words. Uh, uh, let those things fill your heart. Hide them. Hide those words of the Lord to you. Verse 13 says, I, with my lips I have declared. Let it not just be something, though, you, you, you know inside. Let it be something you use as um, 
as a weapon, as a sword, and speak those words, and speak the things of God, the great things of God, and the, and the promises of God. Speak those words that God's given to you personally. Verse 14 says, I've rejoiced in the way of your testimonies as much as in all riches. Lord, is it, it's more important to me to see you and, 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 me, and me. Listen to this. To see you and me, Lord, moving hand in hand in fellowship and relationship. And I rejoice when I see you work through me and you do things and when I see your word come true, it is it's so exciting to me because you're my father and I want to bring you glory. This is a powerful eight verses, powerful eight verses. Delight yourself in the Lord today and he will do amazing things. If you will simply start delighting yourself in him. Father, bless the hearers today. And the doers, O oh God, let them become doers. And cause us, O oh Lord, to delight in our knowledge of the things that you reveal to us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.